What's the biggest financial obligation in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Well, it's your house, of course. What's the best way to earn the money with which to pay it off? Turnips? Nope. Nookazon? Wrong. Never selling anything and just using money rocks and trees? Clever callback to a previous video of mine, but no. If you use any of these ways to pay off your house, you're a moron. Let me show you the right way to pay off your house. To fully upgrade your house with the storage expansion, it'll run you a cool 6,196,000 bells. To put that into perspective, I want to see how many items of varying values it'll take you to reach that goal if you're only going to sell that one item. Because visualizing your debt by saying that it's 15,490 sea bass is way cooler than saying that you owe 6,196,000 bells. So, let's explore a variety of items in Animal Crossing New horizons and see how many of each that we need to sell to tackle all of our home loans. The item that sells for more money than anything else in Animal Crossing New Horizons is the Royal Crown. It sells for 300,000 bells and is purchased for quadruple that amount. Being as expensive as it is, it will take 21 of these being sold for you to be able to pay off your entire debt. Well, technically it's 20.653 repeating, of course, crowns, but I reckon you'd have a hard time convincing Timmy and Tommy to buy 65% of that 21st crown. Anyway, that's why royal crowns are often the fodder for dupe glitches and online trading and the like. Because pound for pound, they're the most efficient thing to sell if you want to make money fast. Close behind the royal crown, though, is the regular crown. This sells for 250,000 bells, tied with the robot hero as being the second highest selling items in the game. Selling 25 of either of these will be enough for you to be debt free. Not that either of these would be very easy to acquire 25 of. You know, at least the crown could be bought, making it easy to get if you have the money, but to get the robot heroes, you'd need 25 rockets, 25 gold armors, 750 rusted parts, 2,250 iron nuggets, and 250 gold nuggets. So it's a, uh, inefficient way to pay off your debt, to say the least. Oftentimes, though, the most efficient way to pay off your debt is through turnips. It's quite a broken way of making money in Animal Crossing New Horizons if you know how the turnip market works. Without explaining it too much, though, let's assume that we have the maximum turnip price possible in the game. This being 660 bells per turnip. Turnips stack to 100, so each inventory slot of turnips can at most, sell for 66,000 bells. Certainly a lot less in comparison than our previously mentioned items, but much more convenient and realistic. That being said, how many stacks of 100 turnips do you need to sell in order to be debt-free? The answer is 94 stacks of turnips, or about two and a half full inventories worth of nothing but turnips. It's entirely realistic to buy that many turnips in one Sunday, considering it would only cost you 846,000 bells to buy that many turnips if you get them for the cheapest possible price, that being 90 bells per turnip. So while extravagantly unlikely that this happens, you could theoretically spend 846,000 bells on Sunday and be debt-free later that same week. All done legitimately without anyone duping royal crowns or robot heroes or anything. So I reckon this is probably the most natural way to pay off your debt, but the fun in this video is, of course, exploring the completely unnatural ridiculous ways that you could pay off your loans, so let's get a little bit weirder. If you were, for some unholy reason, committed to paying off your debt with only catching the same creatures, then what would be the best ones in which to do so? There are seven creatures in this game that are all tied for the highest selling price among living things. Six of them are fish, these being the coelacanth, stringfish, golden trout, barrel eye, dorado, and the great white shark. The last is a sea creature, a gigas giant clam. How many of these equally priced creatures would you need in order to pay off your debt? They're all worth 15,000, so 414 of any of these is the answer. Which is pretty unrealistic to expect, considering, of course, that we're talking about the rarest creatures in the game. I'd be surprised if in my, like, I don't know, 16 years of playing Animal Crossing games, if I've ever caught 414 of these seven creatures total. Perhaps it could be a fun challenge one day to see how long it would take me to pay off my debt by only fishing, I would of course catch any fish or sea creature that I can find, not just these seven. Though this begs the question, 
How many of the more common creatures would it take to earn 6,196,000 bells? When you think of common creatures, you probably think of things like the sea bass, but I already spoiled the answer as to how many that would take in the thumbnail. The sea bass, perhaps surprisingly though, isn't the least valuable creature, not by a long shot. The least valuable deep sea creature is a tie between the sea cucumber, sea star, and the sea anemone. Each of these sells for 500 bells, which would take catching 12,392 of either one of them to pay off your house completely. That's child's play in comparison to the cheapest fish though. The tadpole is the cheapest fish at 100 bells. If you wanted to camp out at your ponds for 61,960 of these, then, well, you're insane. An insane person that has paid off their mortgage, however, so, uh, you know, small victories, I guess. If that makes you insane, though, then you would have to be Betty White's off your rockers to catch the cheapest bugs. Oh, I like that joke. The cheapest bug is the cicada shell, worth a grand total of 10 bells. 10. Diez. Kumanen. Jishinch. You have to catch 619,600 of them to pay off your loan. 619,600. Uh... Yeah, that. And that, my friends, is why I always say never pay off your loans with cicada shells, because it won't get done until the heat death of the universe. So, do you know how you can only pay off your first loan in miles? 5,000 to be exact. While that's technically true, we can essentially pay off all of our loans using miles. You can spend 500 nook miles for a bell voucher that sells for 3,000 bells. You would only need 2,066 of them to pay off your loans. So, how many nook miles would that cost you? 2,066 bell vouchers times 500 nook miles each would mean that you need to save up 1,033,000 nook nook miles to redeem enough bell vouchers. The real cost of this, however, is not the nook miles, rather the time that it takes to order that many bell vouchers. Allow me to demonstrate. I'm going to time the amount of time that it takes to order one single bell voucher. Here we go. Alright, now I'm going to multiply that by 2066. And your time investment into this completely arduous task ends up being... 10 hours, 47 minutes, and 24 seconds. This is obviously not worth your time, but if you're the type to save up 1 million nook miles, then perhaps you'd be the type of person who would spend 10 hours, 47 minutes, and 24 seconds. Repeatedly mashing the A button. I don't know. I don't judge. Anyway, you want to know what the cheapest item in the game is? Sticks. They're everywhere, but not everywhere enough for them to be a viable thing to sell, really. They sell for 5 bells, which to my knowledge is the item in the game that sells for the least amount of money. You would need to collect 1,239,200 of them, which is a tall ask to be sure. It would take 1,033 trips of selling to get that many bells. This is assuming, of course, that you have 40 stacks of 30 sticks in your inventory, which would probably take you hours on end to get, and a lot of tree shaking. So if you ever want to pay off your debt in the most tedious of ways, then you must hate your thumbs, because that would require a lot of button spamming. But that was a fun delve into the perspective of how much money you owe in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you for watching, and leave any ideas for videos that you want to see in the comment section down below. I try to do my best to read them all the best I can. Check out my Twitch channel for more daily Animal Crossing content as well. I'm live six days a week at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.